Arcs of UDP archiving can be deployed in multiple environments. For example, VMware, Hyper-V and Amazon Web Services or AWS. This video describes how to deploy UDP archiving in Amazon Web Services. You can set up and configure AWS for UDP archiving using an Amazon Machine Image or AMI. First, you need to find and select Amazon Machine Image or AMI. To find AMI, log into the AWS console with valid user credentials. From the services page, click EC2 available under compute in the center pane. Click launch instance available below create instance. From the left pane of choose an Amazon machine image, select community AMIs. Enter UDP archiving AMI name or AMI ID. Click enter to search. From the search results, select the AMI and proceed to configuring your instance. Now, Set up and configure AWS choosing an instance type screen and selecting the server to launch. Remember minimum configuration is T2 large with 2 CPUs and 8 GB of memory and then click configure instance details. More number of CPUs is always better. For a large migration of legacy message move to larger server. Now from the configure instance details screen select enable option for auto assign public IP and also select the checkbox for enable termination protection. From the add storage screen add more storage now or expand the volume later. Change the root volume to desired size for archiving. Consider the existing message to move to UDP archiving as well as the existing messages that you need later. An ideal ratio is 1 GB per mailbox per year. For example, 100 GB per year for 100 mailboxes. As an optional step, from Add Tags, you have the option to assign tags. We do not recommend assigning tags at present. From Configure Security Group, open ports as required and click Review and Launch. Click Launch. From review instance launch screen, create a new key pair. Your UDP archiving is now configured in AWS. Now you need to configure the UDP archiving software in a browser. Find your public IP address. Then map a URL you want to use for your UDP archiving. For example, email underscore archive dot .com. then navigate to your new URL or welcome.php please remember in AWS restarting your server changes the IP address after configuring your system you can use an elastic IP